So I'm gonna throw it on really fast and we'll see if it makes a big difference. Okay. And then I'll have you try it. We give it a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just think that like a little bit more, like not a lot. I didn't get an order sheet. So I thought while I'm looking up the prices on everything, would you like to try on the Skims jacket? Sure, why not? Actually, let's guess how much we think it is. I'm gonna say $85. <gasps> $78. You were uh, right, you called it. $78. This is not a $78 piece. No. Like this feels like Buffalo it's, Exchange 20 bucks. I've got really good 70s velour and it's I would a, choose that any day over this. Yeah. Even in its potentially deteriorated state. <laughs> we give it a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Maybe everything else will be amazing, right? I hope so. Can I show you this? Yeah. And this is without anything on. Right like underneath. Nothing. This is all natural. This is what we look like. My, my natural gut. This is the two. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're both gonna try is this Skims undergarment. So I'm gonna throw it on really fast and we'll see if it makes a big difference. Okay. And then I'll have you try it. Yeah, let's do Sounds it. good. There's my hers. Kind of see it in the side here. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah. I don't I know. honestly don't even see a difference in your silhouette. I don't think I do either. Luckily, it's cut out in the back, so like your booty can kind of just like do what it normally does. Okay, I'm curious how the small will fit with me. Let's see what you look like in it. Okay, let's do it. And now I am wearing the, I don't what, do you know what this is called? It's the Core Control Thong Sienna in size small medium. I can see a difference, like when I stand to the side, it definitely does suck me in. I would say the negative of this for me is that I, I feel like it dips into, it creates hip dips that I don't normally have. What was the cost on this? So it's $34, which I don't feel like is like absurd. So it's more than twice the amount of Target's. It's probably better made than Target because this is thick. Like that's definitely one of the things I notice is that it's thick. Well, let's test the one that you have from potentially Target years ago and let's see how that compares. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so these are like basic from like Target or something. They're a lot thinner than the previous ones. Right. And I don't think they work as well. I don't know. Different brand. I would say the, that the Skims version is much better. Really? Okay. Yeah, like I don't feel like this does the same for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it looks the same, but like it doesn't feel like it's sucking me in the same. It's really? not as strong. Yeah. Cause sometimes you just want to feel your best, you know, on a date, you want to feel like you're like perfect. Ready to go, and yeah. These aren't perfect. I don't know if the, the Skims ones are either though. So maybe we just keep going and see what else is in the pile. Yeah. I think the next thing we should test is the Skims shorts. Okay. Do you have a pair of shorts that we could compare it to maybe? Probably. We'll have to go look. Let's do it. I'll throw these on and you go grab those. Okay. These we should be good to kind of show. So yeah. just as an idea, because it's is, is just a pair of shorts. These I don't think are made to body contour. Just Yeah, I don't think so. Based on the material, but they're really soft. Like, I like the way that they feel. Mm -hmm. So these I they're actually sturdy. use a lot for like cosplay stuff. Like I have this really great Gozer outfit and like- Oh yeah, This is I've what I that. wear underneath it. I really like those actually. I don't know how expensive they are, but they look comfortable. Originally priced for $22, but I got it for 12. Okay. So I think $12 is pretty fair. Yeah. Like how does it look with the dress down? So with the dress rolled down. Yeah. Like <laughs> you definitely can see it on the side. Oh yeah, totally. It doesn't change your shape really at all, but it no. looks nice. How do you feel about yours though? Um, do they well, like kind of tuck these. you at all? Um, I don't think so. I think that they're pretty. Just spandex? Yeah, they're pretty basics. We're gonna try this. <laughs> So you're gonna just put this like on over the shorts? Yeah. We're just gonna see what that looks like. Okay, let's do this. Ugh. Okay, so <laughs> I have a landing strip that lands about here. <laughs> lands, yeah, yeah. So we've got like a lot not covered. I just think that like a little bit more, like not a lot, just a little, because I feel Needs like more fabric. I feel like I would be if I were wearing this like on a date, right? I'd be or, uncomfortable. This would be giving me like like the most uncomfortable wedgie. The only other thing I have left that I wanted to really try was the bralette. Okay. But did you want to grab one of your other spandex fits and let's see if that kind of does some wonders for you? Sure, let's do it. I'm wearing that entire body piece right here. 
Mm -hmm. And then it has the chest cut out, so. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. It's comfortable, mm -hmm. which is great, but it doesn't do the job as well as I would like. I'm not mad about it though. Like it just, it could be better. I really, to me, I think it is exactly kind of the idea of what we're looking for is like an overall body shaping, except for in the, you know, the bust and the bottom, but maybe just a size smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Which you've had this forever, so yeah. like I, maybe I stretched it out. Might be know. time for a new one. I don't yeah, on this size all the time. Yeah. It's the Skims um, bralette. It's and super cute. I thought it was gonna be kind of like mm, not it. Like wasn't excited about it, but it's actually really nice. Yeah, it looks comfortable. It's a little bit see through, so I can't really show mm -hmm. it, but I can show you the back of it. It's really supportive. Like I can jump around a little bit. I don't feel like I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it, it lifts. Like yeah. it gives everything a nice like. For me, bralettes are usually very loose, yeah, which is why I, I don't agree. wear them. The Logo Mesh Triangle Bralette in the color of Bone was $38. So it kind of checks out why we like it so much. Yeah, it's expensive for how low for what fabric it is. It is but yeah. It is, um, it is nice. So do you want to try some vintage pieces underneath? Just yeah, for fun? can I try that one? I want to see what that one looks like on me. Sure. So let's, let me borrow that one. And then do you want to do a vintage one? Sure, let's do it. That is like doing some magic for you. So this is the vintage bustier from like the 40s. I think it actually thins me out more than everything else. Honestly, it's putting in work. Is it because there's boning in it? Yeah, or what? it's because it's got boning in it. Oh yeah, definitely. So, so this is like intense shapewear. We don't do this as much these days. It's interesting how shapewear it's, it's pretty standard. It is, it's been around. It's supposed a to do what time. it does. Like it's been around right. at least since like the 1500s, but longer, I'm sure. Just you can think back to like corsets being in fashion, and that was shapewear. I feel yeah. like it's kind of declining, because that's really working. Yeah, yeah I this mean, isn't. We're definitely doing it for some level of comfort, but we also yeah. are focused on accentuating certain things. Like big booties are much more popular now than they were in say like. 1700s but like the you know 40s 50s they started like getting into a thinner look and like they use these like things to cover their bums i think that's what we should do for the next one what do you mean we cover our do, bums we should do the butt flap cover ones from like the 50s let's do it okay <laughs> Back. do you notice anything different i doubt it it's loose <laughs> these are vintage garters probably from the 40s or 50s and they're meant to be worn with stockings, so keep that in mind. And they're not that flattering. I mean, some people like that. I don't know, there's a big love for pinup looks, so. And the goal was to have a flatter, smaller rear end. Honestly, it's kind of <laughs> giving me more shape. Like, uh-oh. It's doing the opposite. <laughs> Let's do like an overall review. Okay, what's your review of the, the Skims line? I would say that if you're curious about skims and you have the extra money, I would say try it, but maybe keep the tags on and keep your undergarments on when you try things on and just pick what things work for you. And my thought on it was the undergarments are decent and mm -hmm. the ones that held you in, I thought they held me in pretty well. Again, it does have to do with sizing, but that jacket, like, no go. No jacket. Like, it's skims. It's meant to be undergarments. So I probably wouldn't purchase overgarments from that line. I mean, I would rate out of like one to 10, like overall, the whole like purchasing it, the packaging, like, like the whole thing tied up in a ribbon, I would give it like a seven. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, mm, you know, in the middle. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I have just like any reason to get dressed up in undergarments and hang out with you. Yeah, so try some new stuff. Definitely like and subscribe. Check out all our links below. Follow my girl Dare, Dare Woo -woo. Wears. She's got her own YouTube channel. So yeah. It'll be in the links below as well. Thank you so much. Bye. Mwah.